Hey, what's going on guys? Carter here. Got another video for you. Another knife review video for you. This is the Spyderco Perrin PPT. Uh, I've been carrying this around the last few days and I gotta say that it is a pretty sweet blade. I'm really digging it. Uh, but before I start, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the specs on here. Overall length, you're looking at 7.375 inches. Close length, four and a quarter. Um, the blade length is just over three inches, 3.15 something. Uh, cutting edge, 2.6 inches. And the uh, blade steel is CPM S30V. It features textured or sculptured G10 handles on both sides, scales here. And it's kind of a hybrid liner lock, frame lock type deal going on. It comes with a lanyard, as you can see here, which is pretty unique. Um, my assumption on the lanyard is because of the extremely deep carry that this knife provides. I mean, this thing just goes all the way in your pocket. You can't see anything. Um, and that is really nice. I really dig that feature. Um, it is. It says that it is tip up right hand, left hand, left hand side compatible. Uh, however, if you look at the clip, it's kind of inset on that side. So I don't really see how you could do left hand carry with that. The literature on Spyderco's website says you can do both, but uh, I'm not seeing how. And just in general for lefties, not the best. As you can see, the frame lock portion here does cover up a portion of the spider hole. I mean, you can still get in there. Um, but it's not as easy as regular carry. Uh, we've got a full flat grind here, kind of a modified Warncliffe style with a swedge on top. Of course, it came very sharp in uh, Spyderco fashion. This is made in Thailand, which uh, a lot of, or Taiwan, Thailand. Um, a lot of these are coming in that way. The Oh, the PPT. Uh, the PPT, I guess, actually stands for the three designers involved in this knife. Um, you know, obviously this is more credited to Perrin himself, uh, but apparently the two other individuals, Felipe Periotti, Perotti, and Sasha Thiel, I guess, had a hand in it as well, which is where you get the uh, PPT. Another thing I've noticed, you can see the Spyderco logo there. It appears to have kind of a laser cut diamond type texture to it this year. Like I mentioned in my last video, it's been a while since uh, I've been into Spyderco's, uh, so that looks like it's a new new little thing they're doing, you can see right there. Um, but I, overall, I just really like this knife. I love the look of these textured scales here. Um, I love the feel in the hand. You can hold it this way. There's also a little choil here that you can grip up on. There's uh, some fairly useful jimping up here if you really want to choke up on this blade and do some some nice cutting. Um, the blade is quite thin at the tip there you can see so this is definitely an excellent slicer um, and really I mean there's not a whole lot of bad stuff I could say about it except for maybe a couple couple points. There's only two things with this knife that um, I think could be improved on. One is this jimping right here which is completely useless uh, because it actually is inset in the scales there, if you can see. So you don't really contact it at all. I mean, this is just completely smooth because of that. So that's completely purposeless jimping. Um, and with the design, they have actually, there is no thumb ramp, which you usually see because of the spider hole. Um, but the main issue is the weight. Now, uh, let me see, what is the weight on here? 5.3 ounces for a 3 inch blade. In general, that's considered kind of heavy. Um, I don't really care specifically about the weight. You know, it's not a big deal to me. My only concern is the balance. Um, all the weight, you know, because of the 3 inch blade and the fact that it's very thin, all the weight is back here. I mean, if you look at the spacer, that's a solid steel spacer right there. And it comes all the way across here and all the way there. That's a big chunk of metal on top of these thick liners, especially the uh, frame lock side here. So the balance point is 
like clear back here. Yeah, it's about right there. So mid handle, which is a little odd um, to get used to, because typically I like my you know my balance point in this area. Um, but it's it's really not a huge issue. I mean, once you get past you know just kind of the feel of it, it does feel kind of unbalanced at first. But uh, you know you get past that real quick, and once you start using it and carrying it, it's really a non-issue. So I definitely recommend picking this knife up. It not only looks cool, but it's very functional. It flies open with authority. And that is a nice, thick, stainless steel frame lock. Well, frame lock, liner lock, whatever you want to call it. But uh, because that's not titanium, that is going to last forever. I mean, it's not going to chew through this liner as quickly as uh, if it were a titanium frame lock. It came about 50%, which being stainless steel, awesome. If this was a titanium frame lock, I would say that that's a little late for a, a brand new knife. But being stainless steel, that's just perfect. Because uh, it's going to take a long time for this to wear and move. Alright guys, so that's about it. That is the Perrin PPT. Definitely impressed with it. Definitely uh, endorse it. Alright guys, take it easy.